Hello, uh, this is me. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, retrieve uh, data from a table in the database and then populate uh, the data into a drop down list without coding. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to uh, select a new website and then uh, let me call the uh, website's name as drop down list. And I'm going to create an empty website. And the language I pick is C Sharp. But you can use BB if you want to. And let me click OK. I'm going to create a new sub uh, directory. Okay, so let me right click the root directory on my web application, select add, and select. Uh, sp uh, add sp.net folder and select app underscore data and i'm going to add my uh, existing database over there so there you go so it will be the north wind uh, sql database click add Okay, then uh, I'm going to click, click the uh, root uh, directory of my application again, and then right click the mouse button. I'm going to add a new uh, item, which will be the web form. So select web form. I will use the default name, so I'm not going to change anything. Okay. Click add. There you go. Then I'm going to switch to the design view, and then. Since I'm going to populate the data into a drop down list, so I'm going to select uh, the uh, standard uh, folder or category and let me drag and drop an instance of a drop, drop down list. Then I'm going to config the uh, data source. Then I'm going to select new data source. Since it's an SQL database, so I'm going to select the database type as SQL database. I'm going to select OK. I'm going to click the drop down list, and there you go. Uh, that, is th that is my database. Kay. And then you can see uh, it set up uh, the path kay, and uh, to the database. Kay. And I click Next. Next again. And since I just want to use one table, so let me click the drop down list yeah, and then pick the, let's say, uh, customers table. And assume I uh, want to uh, select uh, all the fields, then I can click just next because you can see uh, this is the uh, SQL command, SQL command uh, used to uh, select all the fields. Assume I, ju I, w I just want customer ID, uh, company name, contact information, and then a phone number. Then uh, after I done clicking those fields, you can see the SQL command has been constructed already. So let me click next and do a test. Pretty neat. I mean, uh, this is what I wanted. Okay, so click finish. Okay, and then next one, you ask me, okay, uh, uh, which few data I want to display okay, over the drop down list. Okay, I would say, well, I want to display the uh, company name, and then I want to use the customer ID as the value field. Uh, to the corresponding item displayed in the drop down list. So I'm not going to change anything. Click OK. And then uh, again, uh, programming uh, principle when you add uh, something, when you change something, always print something. In this case, always display something to make sure that 
the way you think is the same as the computer so I'm going to uh, click the button over here to start uh, the application without debugging okay there you go then you can see all the, uh, the information from the all the selected information from the uh, customers table have been populated okay, into the uh, drop down list already okay. and let me close it I think that's it. Thank you for watching.